Just been completely destroyed by injuries, though. Some of the big names is that three by Monty Morris drops in. The best passer, maybe the second best passer in the NBA on the floor tonight. Right, and, and you know, you talk about a guy that's 6'10", as Wood gets inside. And he's got real long arms, good perimeter defense, and Shea dispossessed momentarily, got it back in the reverse underneath. Sets a series of screens with a backdoor cut. That's another big part of this Denver offense. Jokic catches. Boy, that was a real high arcer that drops in. He still got game. And he's got the prototypical well, length as Dort splashes one in from the sideline. He's got his second three here in the first quarter. Martin, Martin all over. Gilgis Alexander as Giddy couldn't line up that three. Offensive rebound. And Robinson Earl slams it down on the offensive rebound. And it's starting to stack up against some of the top big mans they ever to play this game. SGA put his head down, floats it up off the glass, a little kiss. Outside to Giddy. And Jokic running the floor, got behind everybody, and the big fella lumbering up for the slam. Green is listed at 6'8". He, he's kind of that prototypical body of the modern-day NBA, which is why he's still in the league. It's Shea, another... Bucket off the deck. Paisley coming off the bench for the third straight game. Robinson Earl's going to flare out. Has a very clean look at a three and knocks it down. Paisley also had what, seven rebounds, ten points. Very instrumental off the bench. Man, got his own miss and follows it. Incredible contrast net rating wise. Yeah, it's just really, for one player, really impressive how he impacts the game. But... Baisley takes the bump, still able to play through the contact. Counted in a foul is Green. Jokic on the floor. It's Trey Mann well extended behind the three point line. Kenrich Williams tried to back tap instead. It's right there to Campazzo. Oh, he put a little move on. It opens up the lane and leads into Jerome for the finish. Island kind of controlling things for the Nuggets, and now it's seven in a row for Denver. Baisley, little ball fake, got Green up in the air. Passes back out to the perimeter. Trey Mann's got himself an open look, and he's not going to miss that one as the rookie buries one from downtown. They're still maintaining a lead. The slip pass from Giddy. Nice ball movement down to Baisley. Now he goes to work, cutting across the lane, goes right at Jokic and powers it down. He can come in and be ready and contribute. That pass through the hands, and it results in a Denver turnover. As Trey Mann got the release, flies his way up to the rim, and another transition deuce for OKC. And I know they got key people uh, missing, but he is the key to what they do. And as advertised, he's got the total package. Just back you down and over the top. I mean, Roby's not a small player by any means. And that snaps what was nine consecutive for OKC. And Baisley steps behind the tape and splashes home that three. And, and whatever Giddy's driving with the basket. They've been breaking things down and getting in the lane. Those 26 points in the paint. Jokic, you see the double team coming. He knows exactly what to do with it. And he sees Gordon. It's like he's got eyes in the... This time, Shea, a little spinning move on the perimeter. Follows his miss. Goes right by Jokic and powers that one down. Get this, the Thunder have 40 points right now in the paint. Shea getting downhill. That grab by Barnes played through it, spun it home off the glass. Three on two. Shea times up the pass. Robinson Earl went up in traffic, missed the initial shot, then the redirect with the right hand. They did a good job of just staying with it. Thinking that they've got just a, a hint and a crack there. But he welcomed the play to develop as Shea yet again. I, mean, I, I certainly like the result, but man, he used, caught every angle of that rim to drop that shot as Gordon gets inside for the slam. As Giddy bouncing off bodies. Now Shea with Jeff Green defending. Swings that pass to Favors. Boy, they've had the connection tonight. That's the third time that Shea has fed a deuce to Favors. And the ball died. He caught every, he caught the perfect angle. Any harder that, that ball misses, any shorter. It hits the front of the rim. Well, why, might as well keep going to the exact same play until Denver shows you that you can, they can slow it down. Thunder doing a good job of driving hard to the rim and finishing. 
Now there's, there's one, you know, it's one thing to, to drive. The other thing is to get there and finish. As Jokic hits the three-point shot. Gordon outside green for three. And a great tap. Here is Giddy on the leak out. And he got behind everybody. And a perfect pass set him up about a 60-footer. Gordon did a nice job. Robinson Earl, another offensive rebound. And it's tapped out by Green. Here comes Monty Morris. And Denver's going to get an and one. Had a few of those in the first half. See Gordon shutting off that baseline. As Giddy sees a little bit of space and takes advantage. High reward play came up empty. Dort, corner three. Follows his miss and saves it back out to Giddy. Gets it back on the other side. It's reload three, and he's not going to miss that one, even with the close out of Jokic. Well, the Thunder really controlled the first quarter, and once again controlling the third quarter. Now plus 10, expanding this lead. Now the biggest of the night at 18. But he's also a pick and pop, too. He just doesn't pick, pop, pick and pop out to the three-point line. As Mr. Giddy just did. He talked about working on that with his teammates during the course of the season and really his whole career. That is a very valuable weapon when teams are sinking back defensively with their big at the rim. That shot at the elbow and nail, it's going to be there. And it's something Favors has really honed his whole career. And has so much vision, can find Favors every time. As Dort, oh, he cuts right through that defense, missed the layup, but Baisley with the follow, the easy follow. Pazzo, you know he's going to try to break you down with the dribble and then find an open man. In that case, it was Austin Rivers off the deck, wiggling his way up to the rim. Okic on the bench for the Nuggets. And it's been all OKC. Baisley once again, that nice pass as he was diving into the rim. That's his second one here in the third quarter right at the cup. We're still looking at that replay on the offensive foul. There you go. Janchar's come in here in the early minutes of the fourth quarter, and he's provided Denver with a little offense. And the Thunder next week will go right back out to the West Coast. As Campazzo, a rare shot for him. He's got his first three. Rivers. And he's got another three, so it's an 11-0 run for Denver. For the next couple of weeks, Thunder in a condensed stretch here playing four games in six days, but still business to be done here as Lou Dort's going to stop that 11-0 Denver run with a timely three. But OKC still able to maintain the lead. Michael Malone going deep into his bench as Davon Reed's got his first bucket of the game. Coach for the Nuggets, Michael Malone, is elected to go with his bench here in this fourth quarter, and they're delivering. Rivers, little jab step for another three. Austin Rivers, his second three, so Denver's caught fire a little bit from the outside. And Shea head up as he sprints up the floor, spins into a turnover. There's a lot of contact on that play. Oh, and Reed put his head down, and he's hurt. Denver can't stop play here. The Thunder, five on four. This will be a foul on Rivers. What a pass from Giddy. Cross court, left hand. As Dort finds his teammate underneath inside the block. It's Baisley for the easy slam. Since the middle part of the first quarter, Nikola Jokic, the reigning MVP, and another win.